baby boomers, Gen X, millennials, and Gen Z. Has there always been labels on generations? My friend, who's a Generation Y, she said to me, I wish I wasn't a millennial. I wish I'd rather have been a Generation X, which made me think, so what if you're a millennial? Why do you want to be a Gen X? And it made me think, why do we actually label generations into X, Y, Z? What does it all mean? Before the 19th century, generation only referred to family relationships. It was not until after the 19th century that generation actually referred to broader social groups as we know it as Gen Y, Gen Z, baby boomers, etc. So what started the trend of labeling people by age? One word, westernization, which is the marriage of modernization and industrialization. Generally speaking, the Western world is made up of Europe, North America and Austral Asia. Changes of economics, societal changes, technological changes, the national press, different ways of speaking to people, public schools. All of these had given rise to having people be labeled by generation. In the Western world, you've got the greatest generation from 1901 to 1927. You've got the silent generation. You've got the baby boomers, otherwise known as Gen W. You've got Gen X. You've got Xennials. You've got millennials, also known as Gen Y. But don't take labels Gen X, Gen Y, Millennial Baby Boomer personally because in other countries, it's completely different. Now, outside the Western world, the other countries don't share the same generational labeling. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Taiwan, for example, has, has called a generation called Generation Strawberry. Why strawberry? Because the strawberry generation in Taiwan are the people they refer to who get bruised very easily. In other words, anyone born after 1981 in Taiwan they're considered as not being able to work as hard as their parents, so therefore they're called the strawberry generation. In Russia, you've got generation of winner, generation of the Cold War, and generation of perestroika. So if you're wondering why generational labeling has existed since the 19th century, it's simply because you and I get to be studied. The way we move, the way what technology we use, how we earn money, where we earn money, where we spend it, all these changes have vastly changed since the 19th century and can be done in so many different ways that by putting us in categories of Gen X, Y, Z, Millennial, Baby Boomer, so that they can just work us out. And by putting us in groups, we can be more predictable and easier to study. So my friend that was complaining that she's a Gen Y, she's a Millennial, and she'd rather be a Gen X, I guess she can be comfortable to know that if she was living in Taiwan, she'd be called Generation Strawberry, the one that's easily bruised.